Hi, I'm Jay, and welcome to our greenhouse. Today we'll be showing you around and telling you what it takes to raise produce in a greenhouse. Here in the greenhouse, we have, have grown and do grow several different varieties of greenhouse vegetable. Uh, we are growing tomatoes and cucumbers. This particular section of the greenhouse has long English cukes. The other uh, larger section of the greenhouse currently has tomatoes on the vine, which is a red cluster tomato that you commonly see in the grocery store. There are a lot of good reasons for using a greenhouse versus uh, a crop grown in the field. Um, a lot of them have to do with sustainability. A lot have to do with uh, climate control and pest control. From a um, sustainability standpoint, the the crops growing in a greenhouse use about 95% less water than crops grown in the field. The other thing about a, a, a greenhouse is we keep the crop uh, in production for around nine months out of the year where a crop grown outside in the field lasts about six weeks before it gets plowed under. Here the, uh, the fertilizer that we use uh, is measured so that it is what the plant needs and any over uh, fertilizer gets reintroduced to the plant so we have a high efficiency use of fertilizers. Also in the greenhouse we are able to control the climate much better than outside. Uh, a lot of uh, issues come from rain falling on the plants or dew falling on the plants can introduce some fungal diseases and things that we don't have to deal with in the greenhouse. Also, we have the opportunity to uh, control the temperature better, uh, mainly the nighttime temperatures uh, and even the humidity in the greenhouse. It's just easier to control and keep at a more constant level than outside. To go back really to, to the beginning of how our plants are propagated, really I go back to when we select the seeds. Uh, we have a team that goes to our seed suppliers. They have expos where our team will taste the tomatoes. Uh, they'll learn about the, the properties of those tomatoes, the size, uh, the average weight that they'll grow to, the disease resistance, those sorts of things. They choose the seeds then that we will purchase. So we purchase the seeds and send them to a propagating company. We send, for every plant, and to, every tomato plant, we send two seeds one to be germinated as the rootstock and one to be uh, germinated as the vine stock. Uh, so we send those seeds to our propagator. In our case, it's a, a company in Ontario, Canada. They take those seeds, they germinate them and grow them to a very small plant. And at that point, they graft the plants. They cut the plants in half the top of, of the vine stock plant gets grafted to the, to the root stock plant and then for, they grow those for another six to seven weeks and then ship them to us. Planting day here at the greenhouse is a big deal. It's, uh, it's a great couple of days actually. Uh, we receive the plants from our propagating company. They come in about 15 tractor trailer loads. Uh, divided into two separate days of planting. And for us what planting means is we receive those plants in, in a little block of rock wool where they have been uh, grown for the first six or seven weeks of their life. That plant uh, comes in in that block and then it is set on a grow bag of medium which in our case is cocoa fiber. and uh, when we place that on that grow bag, then we put a drip irrigation spike in the bag and in the rock wool uh, and start the fertilizing irrigation process, which begins the plant to grow into that grow bag. So now that the plants are in the greenhouse, the process of growing the fruit start. Within about 10 days of, of receiving the plants, they will flower. Once the, the plants flower, within about eight to 10 weeks, we will start to harvest from those plants. 
So the process of going from seed to harvesting the plant, there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. There's a lot of logistics. Uh, we have accounting people. We have um, clerical folks. Uh, we're doing the purchasing. Uh, we're coordinating with our propagating company to make sure that their timing matches with our timing. And at their facility, they have everything from uh, horticulture people to uh, integrative pest management and uh, people uh, that are making sure that it's as seamless and as smooth as possible from purchasing our seeds to harvesting our first tomato.